This is a soul hit production. You have now tuned into Insight Sundays, the show that brings you relevant news, youth and political topics with a new direction and focus for our communities. Log in with Facebook and get connected. Here's your host, Adrian Mickens. What's going on, Indianapolis? And welcome to another edition of Insight Sundays right here on AM 1310 The Lights and Facebook Live. As always, we have to give a shout out to all of our sponsors, which are Andrew J. Brown Academy, Indiana Christian Leadership Conference, or ICLC, Buttons and Bowls Hair Salon, Bethesda Temple Southeast Campus, New Vision Lighthouse Ministries, Hair Artistry Indy, Inner Beauty Program Incorporated, New Breed of Youth, Lighthouse Academy Charter School South and East Campus, Beach Grove Bible Church, and Sam Ash Music Store. As always, Indianapolis, make sure that you stay connected with us on all of our social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at the title name of Insight Sundays, as well as you can go to your App Store and Google Play Store and download the Insight Sundays mobile app or the AM 1310 mobile app too as well. As always, Indianapolis, we have another spectacular show for you guys in the house today. Today, we have a little uh, in-ring action. We have Chin Check Boxing in studio today. And uh, before we get started, I want to give my little disclaimer um, because, you know, I know this is 1310 The Light and, you know, we are talking a little bit about boxing, but you have to learn how to protect yourself. And the uh, best way to protect yourself is know how to uh, have the offense and the defense in life, you know. And uh, boxing is not all about just physical contact. It's also about mental, some things we're going to get into a little bit today. Uh, my guest we have here today is Ali Khalif. All right. And also as well, we have Malcolm Jones. All right. man. Malcolm Jones was here last week. Uh, we just had a community event over on 1311 North Arlington uh, with the company called Face that we had. And uh, it was a phenomenal event. We were out there yesterday. Uh, great turnout. Great, great turnout. Probably at least about four to five hundred people were there. Uh, throughout the hours, we had it from about 12 to 4 o'clock. Was that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. So correct. it was just an awesome turnout, man. Just fun. All IMPD came out. The fire department came out. Uh, if you missed it, you missed it. But it will be some clips uh, on uh, Facebook. So just go to Insight Sundays, and they'll be up tomorrow so you can catch all the highlights uh, from that community event with Face. Uh, shout out to the Twins, too, if they are listening. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Rosanda and Azanda. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into the mix. I know that you gentlemen have an event coming up. Um, so I'm going to start with Mr. Ali here and uh, just kind of elaborate on what this event is and when it's coming up. Okay, the event is uh, the, Kings the, of the, down just a little bit. Yep, the event is the King of, Kings of the Ring, uh, mm -hmm. August 25th. Mm -hmm. uh, Malcolm is the uh, on top. Uh, we'll say slaying and boxing, but he's the main event. Okay. Um, the co-main is a, is a Russian kid that we are about to sign. Um, uh, his name is really hard to pronounce. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to try to pronounce we, it. We got a Rocky Four thing yeah. going there while I've been driving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got a really funny name. <laughs> but, yeah, he's 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 uh, the co-main and um, some exciting undercard events, too. Okay, all right. And uh, where's this event location, Tom? It's at uh, Tindall Armory, and that is at... Was that 711 uh, Pennsylvania Street? Okay. 711, right around the corner. All right, so it is downtown. Uh, he said Tindall Armory. Yeah. All right, Armory, right. Tindall Armory. Where the Golden Glove fights at. Okay, all mm -hmm. right. And, uh, again, that's August the 25th. And what's the start time on that for everybody? 7.30. 7.30. 7.30 p.m. P.m., correct? Right. All right, 7.30 p.m. It's going to be a Saturday night fight right here in Indianapolis. The doors open at 6. Doors open up at 6 o'clock. So, again, you know, just something uh, if you guys want to go out and, and see something a little bit different than the norm, you know, you guys can come downtown and check that out. But um, I know that you guys, again, it's, it's just a little bit more than just the physical uh, attribute of just boxing. You guys do a lot of stuff with the community, especially with the youth. Uh, you know, helping, helping and grooming and mental wise right. and all that good stuff. So uh, let's just start. What's the background history of uh, Chin Check Boxing? Well, the background is is that we've we've been around in, in the Indianapolis community for probably the last 15, 20 years. Okay, all right. And um, helping with the youth, uh, we trained a lot of kids over that time. Okay. Um, and it's more so, and it's it's more than just boxing, yeah. especially with me and and, uh, and Dominique. We don't we don't just 
um, you know, stop talking to the kids after we leave the gym. We, mm-hmm. you know, me and Malcolm, I've trained Malcolm since he was in the amateurs as well. Nah, gotcha. And we, right. we've had long philosophical conversations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, for hours, you know, mm-hmm. and, and because it's more it's more to it than just getting to uh, getting to a person to throw a uh, a right hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or a left hook. You mm-hmm. know, you have to know buttons. Oh, yeah. You know, I know oh, his yeah. brothers, mm-hmm. you know, um uh, you gotta know the kid. Yeah. You gotta know how to talk to him, when to pull back. You gotta mm-hmm. know the psyche. Oh yeah. So what what made you want to uh, join the organization? I don't know how many years have you been in it. Uh, well, since 2007, so about 11, 12 years. All yeah. right. I would say that's some pretty good substantial time, at least about 10 years in. So right. what made you want to get started and stay and now help coach? You know. Oh uh, really? Um, I kind of got into boxing. I used to get in trouble. I was a real troublesome kid okay. growing up. You know, so like I said last week, single parent. Uh, my mother raised three kids by herself. We didn't have no no father at the house. So mm-hmm. um, I went to the boxing gym just to kind of release, like, some anger and stuff like that. Yeah. So I met the the coaches that was there, and they became kind of like, you know, your male role models, your father figures. Like yeah. like Ali said, we, me and him could talk for hours. It don't even got to be about boxing. If I need, yeah. like, some advice from him or if I need anything from him, mm-hmm. I know I could call my coaches and stuff like that. Awesome. So, yeah, boxing kind of was just something to channel the negative energy, and it kind of kept me stay out of trouble. All right. Uh, so what's the, what's the age groups? You know, are they, you know, in divisions? How does all that work? Somebody <laughs> wants to get involved. Well, there's um, the age groups. We start them at eight. Okay. The competition. All right. All right. Um, eight to about... Uh, 32 okay. for competition. Okay. All right. And then um, and the divisions, they go from 108 okay. to heavyweight. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, again, all the parents out there, um, if you guys want to get your child involved um, with something, uh, you know, that is, that, again, that will just not just be a physical thing, but would help teach them discipline in the process. Uh, please tune in and, and let other people know. Again, we are on Facebook Live right now. Let them know. We have Chin Check Boxing. Uh, you can get your kids in starting at about the age of eight years old. Mm-hmm. Um, I was out there yesterday, um, and I seen you guys working, uh, just showing them a little, you know, a little example out there at the community day. Uh, and it was not sloppy. It was the real deal. I seen it with my own eyes. Right. You know, these kids was busting a sweat out there, uh, you know, throwing throwing the leather around. So, um, well, let me ask you this question, too, as well. Um, what do you think is important for the community uh, to practice self-discipline? Why is it important uh, that you guys teach that? Wow. Discipline is something that we all have to practice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, grown or not, mm-hmm. you know, you you have to have discipline in your life. And you know, boxing is, I, I give you an, an analogy, you know, if you get knocked down, just because you get knocked down don't mean you're going to lose the fight. Yeah. But you will lose it if you're not disciplined enough to, to pull yourself together and yeah. and yeah. And, uh, and go forward, you yeah. know. So, yeah, we teach uh, discipline. In fact, we have a, a policy that if you don't maintain a certain grade average, then uh Uh-oh. then uh you can't you cannot travel with the travel team. Uh oh, all right. You, you know? hear that in Indianapolis? So uh, they, they will help you on the back end for all the parents, you know, who or the single moms who just may need a little extra assistance with the young man. Uh they keep them in line for you. So, you know, they they they'll be an extra help in hand uh with that, you know, and just having boxing as an incentive for them to kind of act right. Um again, that goes along with this next question I have and uh, that is how much mental training goes into boxing, you know, whether it's, it's, even if it's an adult, you know, an adult coming in, you know, what's the mental training? How do you break it down when they initially come in? Wow. Um, there's a difference between training and working out. All right. So working out is something that probably 90% of people do. Okay. Training is something that you're going to train your mind to get through that pain and, and that, the soreness and, and, and all of that. So there's a there's a lot of psychology that goes into boxing. Mm. Um, in fact, like for instance, with Malcolm, he's fighting ten rounds. Uh-huh. So ten rounds is a long time. Yeah, <laughs> and you have to stay disciplined, and you have to uh, stay focused on the opponent, and not Beyonce or Jay Z or whoever's in the audience. Yeah, yeah. Because once uh-huh. you lose a little focus. Then boom, there, there we are. We're looking up at the lights. Yeah, you gotta so remember we, you the star. Right, <laughs> and they're here to see you. And Correct. You have to focus on what's on what's the, you know the the challenge at hand. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. All right. Um, on that note, Indianapolis, we are going to take a quick, quick 
commercial break. As always, you can stay connected with us on Facebook Live. We are streaming right now on Facebook at Insight Sundays. Again, that is Insight Sundays with an S, or you can catch all the live replays on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, or download the mobile app at the App Store and Google Play Store, Insight Sundays, or the AM 1310 Delight app, and we will be right back. Welcome back, Indianapolis, to Insight Sundays right here on AM 1310 Delight. I am your host, Adrian Mickens. As always, you can catch us live on Facebook at Insight Sundays. Again, that is live on Facebook at Insight Sundays, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. Or you can download the mobile app at, at the App Store and Google Play at Insight Sundays or AM 1310 The Light. As I just stated before, we are coming back from break, and we have Chin Check Boxing in the house today. Uh, we're going to keep elaborating here on this interview uh, so we can get a little bit more detail about how you guys can get involved in the city with, uh, with Chin Check Boxing. I'm going to start right back here uh, with Mr. Ali and kind of pick his brain a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's been some, uh, there's a lot of different forms of uh, boxing. You know, we have kickboxing and different martial arts and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, one of the greatest, and what I mean by in our time, you know, in the 90s and the 70s and 80s and stuff like that, um, some of the younger people may not know, but, um, you know, there was a great martial artist named Bruce Lee. A lot of them oh, probably wow. do know from posters and stuff like oh, that yeah. and pictures and maybe seen Ender the Dragon and different things like that. Um, but he was so, so focused on self-discipline and all those good different things like that. Um, how do you think that he influenced with, with his creative art uh, within his genre uh, with all the platforms, including boxing? Well, that's interesting because Bruce Lee worked out with the great Muhammad Ali uh -huh. uh, with his footwork. All right. And um, <laughs> he, uh, Ali was able to implement a lot of the, the movements, mm -hmm. fluidity is what Bruce really, really loved about Ali. Yeah, yeah. And Ali's footwork at that time was second to none. All right, all right, awesome, awesome. And, uh, you know, I was going to roll right back into that, too, as well, uh, with another great leader at that time, uh, which was Muhammad Ali, which mm -hmm. you talked about. Uh, and I wanted to talk about his strong black leadership uh, that he had during that time. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit on that? I know you probably yeah. had got a little yeah. bit more uh, <laughs> idealistic mindset on how that was during that time. Well, uh, Ali was a he was a great humanitarian. Mm -hmm. He did a lot for our people. He, you know, you know, he loved our people, but he also did a lot for our people in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he just, you know, I was, I was able to, I was fortunate enough to be um, on security when Mike Tyson was released mm -hmm. from prison out in uh, Plainfield, uh -huh. and um, one of the brothers. Imam Sadiq put me on uh, post for Muhammad. Yeah. To my my job was to get him to his car unscathed, but That's <laughs> and, he, right. and he got there unscathed. Uh -huh, but, uh -huh. but Ali was such a a beautiful person that he wouldn't let me stop nobody from coming to hug him. He gotcha. hugged everybody awesome. that came, and it was that place was packed that day. Awesome. And is that some of you know the stories that you kind of tell mm -hmm. the new boxers that you're oh, training yeah. now? You know, about how the legends actually were during that time. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, you know, uh, history is always going to be if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. You yeah. know, yeah. you got to know a little bit about history because, you know, it will repeat itself. Absolutely. That's true. Don't. That's very true. Uh, so let me ask you this question. What are some of the uh, you know, if a parent wants to sign up, you know, their youngster to the program, um, what are some strong values or mantras that you that you guys try to instill in the young men that come uh, to your programs? It's being true to self, you know, being being true to self and, and uh, learning who you are, you know, uh, as a person. You know, um, boxing is one of those things where, you know, styles make fights. Mm -hmm. But also, too, your personality determines your style. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, so if you don't know who you are, then you kind of jump around. You don't know whether you want to box or you want to be a banger or whatever. Yeah. But your personality dictates. If you're passive, most of the time those guys are counterpunchers. Yeah. If you're real aggressive, those guys are, are coming at you, you yeah. know. Yeah. So if you, you know, so, you know, you, you kind of got to, you know, learn about who this kid is, mm. his background, yeah. his upbringing, yeah. and then you can kind of implement the style that you 
Yeah, gotcha. they would suit the kid. And, and you know, you know, I know you've been you know ten years plus now. What's some things that you try to instill in the young men that come to Chin Check Boxing now? Uh, so hard work and like you said, um, just believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about this event. We got just a few more minutes. I want to make sure we say this slow. So Indianapolis, make sure that you get your pen and papers or cell phones <laughs> with your memo app. Uh, so you can get all this information down. Where is this event, time, location, everything, one more time for Indianapolis? Okay, the doors open at 6. The fight starts at 7.30, and it's at uh, the Tyndall Armory at 7 Pennsylvania. Um, uh, like I say, the doors open at 6 o'clock. The fight starts at 7.30. There's uh, eight action-packed fights. All right. Uh, admission fee? Admission. The general admission tickets are $15. $15. And the ringside? Ringside, 50. General is 50. 30. Okay. And then VIPs are 80. Those come with a, a food and refreshments. All right. All right. So hope you got that down, Indianapolis. Make sure that you come downtown next Saturday on the 25th uh, for some fun field action. You know, <laughs> uh, again, uh, I would definitely check these gentlemen out. Uh, they are true to who they say that they are. Uh, for the parents out there or aunts or uncles who have little ones, especially the young men who has a lot of energy and got to get it out, send them to Chin Check Boxing. I guarantee you they will teach them self-discipline skills to match that energy uh, that they have because the best weapon is the mind and because the mind controls the body. Uh, so, and make sure mm-hmm. that, that all the parents that have been told that your kid needs medicine Come see us first because, you know, oh, they always man. put that plug in there. They always, oh, wanna, they always want to put us on the ADHD medicine oh, and food and so that sort. But, you know, give give boxing <laughs> a try first before you do that. I, I laugh so hard because when I was a kid, probably about nine, and I, I was actually born in Gary and moved here. And the first thing they called uh, my mom, the nurse, did, she called her for like a week straight saying, I think your son, at that time, they called it Ritalin. Ritalin, you know, so, right, right. Uh, I think your son needs Ritalin. I think he needs Ritalin. I think he needs Ritalin. My mom told that nurse, if you call me one more time, <laughs> there is nothing wrong with my son. Right, nothing. He is an energetic kid, and right. you guys need to find a way to match his energy. He ain't hurting or harming nobody. He just talks a lot. So you have to find a way to right. match it. Now I'm on discipline. Hey, you. Yeah. Now you got a job in radio. Hey, so exactly. Work, you know, I, I, I use my hyperness because right. I talk a lot. So <laughs> that's, that's right. what I'm doing for a right. living for is a talking living. a lot. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I just had to get that out. Her, my mom and my dad had to get on me about that, but I will never forget that. And I never took reeling in my life and don't need it. So please do so. Come check them out. Chin Check Boxing. What's your number for anybody to call to sign up? Last thing. Okay. Uh, 612-701-8665. All right. One more time and slower for me. One more time. 612-701-8665. All right. And check them out on Facebook, Chin Check Boxing. Once again, this has been... Another edition of Insight Sundays. I want to let you guys know we're going to take two Sundays off. Next week will be my uh, first year anniversary. And after that, it will be Labor Day. So we will return. I believe that is September 9th, which is our anniversary show. It will be the third year rolling right here on AM 1310 The Light. So we will check you guys out in about two weeks.